Hey guys, this is JB3 and we are back with another episode of Project Reject where we take the players discarded by Morecambe FC and see if we can build a squad strong enough to take them down in the Premier League. We are here in the month of January where we will take on West Ham and then we will move on. We have the FA Cup, so we'll sim through that as well. And then we will take on Man City yet again and see if we can steal a victory from them. We went to all last time, so... You know, it's reasonable to think we can play with them. You know, we got the transfer window open, so hopefully we can add one or two players to, to beef up our roster and maybe see if we can make a push into the top four. And so, unfortunately, in the last game, we saw Barrett go down with an injury, and it's a big one. It's an ACL tear, and he'll be out for seven months, so it looks like we'll be heading to the transfer hub, seeing if we can replace him there in the cam roll. So we will head to the transfer hub and it looks like Joel Richardson is probably the best player to come in and replace him at the cam. He's a big bodied player, 6'2", 180, has all the skill moves and has all the statistics, has good speed and agility, you know, good ball control and good finishing. So, you know, hopefully he can come in and do a pretty good job for us. And, you know, the only thing that you hate is the, the work rate is low, low. So, you know, you, you'd love to see that maybe do a bit better, but he's probably the best available player. So let's go in here and see if we can bring in Joel Richardson. So we'll move on and get into the game here against West Ham. And we were bring, able to bring in Joel Richardson. We got him on $32.5 million. So we still have about $42, $43 million to play with here in the transfer window. But should be a good add. We'll still be able to have Vogel come off the bench because, you know, the midfielders are always the players that kind of get run down the most between Henry and, and Fuentes and Richards, or uh, formerly Barrett. So... We'll stick with the same lineup, and Peba comes in at left back. Let's get this one, see if we can grab three points. And we'll get this one underway. Oh, Decker makes a nice interception, lays it immediately to Becker, or Baker, rather, Baker, now to Fuentes, brings it up, holds there for Baker. Baker holds to Richardson, takes his first shot, and just goes wide of the net. Oh, they get to the top, they get in behind, and Pereira gets a chunk of it, but not enough, and it's going to be 1-0 West Ham tearing us apart yet again. Just all that speed that we saw in the last one. I mean, there's just we don't have anyone that has any speed that can come in and play. We just don't have it. <laughs> I mean, we, we can drop them all we want. They're as deep as we can go to, tactically, but... They just pass right behind us. They use that pace and just Adebola loses them right through the legs of Pereira. Dubois has to race out as Peba gets beat. A big block on his first cross. Gets a second chance and Mitchell's able to clear, but it's right to the middle and Pereira saves it. Oh, Adebola races back. They cut back inside, hold up. Mitchell can't break it up, and now West Ham with a chance. Romano levels him on the edge of the box. It'll be a free kick. He'll pick up the yellow card and give West Ham a chance, but probably better to take the chance on the set piece than letting them dribble around the box with so much control. They'll send it in and head it away nicely by Henry. Oh, West Ham again. Control it. They've had it in our own half for probably the better of five minutes and Pereira bails us out sends it for a corner and the pressure is still on here against West Ham and they'll be lined up here and they'll just gotta try and get it cleared out of and relieve the pressure it sits right there they have a chance and Pereira comes out and settles it down oh Henry interception there nicely goes up has Richardson he'll hold there Tries to find a run from someone. Has to go out. Has Baker. He runs onto it in the box. Loses it. Gains it back. Tries to center it. Has Richardson, who just puts a little soft shot on the goalkeeper. Mitchell carries it up. Has a chance. Goes to Richardson. Moves the run along to Baker. Gets it to Henry, who moves to Decker. Decker into the box. Lofts it up. Has a chance. Hit it on. And oh, finds the back of the net for Richardson. His first game, his first goal. Makes it all even at one here for Brentford. In a big time, you know, the big man in the box. We finally got a little bit of height, which, you know, should help our crossing. And Decker just lofts it up to him. He gets up there. A nice little header and floats it over the keeper. 
And it makes it all even at one here against West Ham. And that'll do it. It's a slow one here in the first half, but it, we go in even one to one. Goes to Richardson. He'll bring it up. Has a pass there to Fuentes. Drives on. Long shot and takes a chance, but it goes out. It'll be a corner off the deflected shot and has a chance here to Decker. Sends it in and in. Dubois gets a good head to it, but just goes wide. So we'll make three changes. It's Adrian Pong. Vogel and Kasim in for Henry, Fuentes, and Romano. Oh, and off the post, they almost find one. Mitchell gathers it up, though, and luckily they won't get another chance at it. Vogel now on the counter, drops it down, has Decker. We're going to build up here. Brentford just looking for a final goal if they can find one. Lays it in there, has it to Kasim, moves it to Pong, moves it to Vogel, and takes the shot. Goes right off the keeper. Oh, they get behind us here. And can we get a one and a save there by Pereira? Sends it for a corner. Thought that was going in. Adebola just wouldn't return back to the middle. Stayed outside and tried to cover up the wing for whatever reason. But luckily, Pereira bails him out. Keeps it out of the back of the net. And they'll get a corner, though. So pressure still on as Pereira has himself a game with seven saves. to high ball in. Headed on and finds the net. You felt it coming. You felt it coming right at the end. They'll get the second one. I mean, in fairness, they probably should have scored a couple times before that. But that one will go in, and that should be just about the end of the game. Vogel tries to bring it up, turns it over, and that will be the game. As we go down 2-1, to one, we lose to West Ham yet again. Just too much pace on them. 11 shots, 7 on target. We just couldn't find the target. 8 shots total. And we'll take a look at it. It's Decker in 8.8, .8, Richardson in 8.1, Baker 6.2, Henry 6.8, Fuentes 7.1, Romano 5.5, 5, Pereira 7.6, Mitchell 7.1, Adobola 7.4, Dubois 7.0, and Peba 7.2, Achampong at 6.2, Kasim 5.8, Vogel 6.3, and that will do it as we go down 2-1. to one. So before we move on to the next game, we have our scouts back here from Portugal in the second month, and it's brought back some really decent talent. We have Calderia still there, 69 to 89, 52 to 68 overall. So a decent evaluation. So we'll hold on to him, even though he doesn't have the greatest of potential. Let's see where he goes. Esteva, Estevo. Vaz, 50 to 68, 75 to 94. So good evaluation. 400,000 will bring him straight into the academy. Diogo Rios, 63 to 87. Jesus, I am going to butcher these names. So decent evaluation. We'll leave him there, though. Again, not the best of eval or uh, best of potentials. And then we have Afonso Mendez, 74 to 94, 58 to 76. Let's bring him right into the academy as well. And that does us for here in Portugal. So we're here in our second month of Argentina scouting, and it's Lopez, 78 to 94, good potential, but real low overall. And then we have Ruben Rolden, 42 to 52, 71 to 91. We'll hold on and see what happens in the last month. So we're here in the Youth Academy, and we have some clearing out to do. Vladko it can go 70-86, just doesn't have the potential for us. Adalberto Diaz up to a 63, so still climbing in the Youth Academy. Jerome Blonde, 60 overall, 84-90 to 90 potential. Estevan Vaz, who we just brought in, 75-94, to 94, 60 overall. We have Alf Afonso Mendez, who's 62 overall. 74 to 94 cam 15 years of age fabio lopez another good player looks like it 61 overall 74 to 94 we'll see where he goes as far as overall before we bring him in tito segura 60 overall right mid 73 to 93 potential so decent player there gordon drogic we'll still hold on to him 77 and 91 still has a chance and jomar moyoyo 55 overall 77 to 94 so we're here in the FA Cup. We will roll out the backups here against Man City and see how we can do. And we get a 1-1 draw and oh boy, we get to play a replay. That's exactly what I wanted to do. 
So we will get into the game here against Man City and feel like we've played them a lot this year, but we'll get another crack at them here. We've played well against them. It's been competitive. They do have their strongest lineup out naturally, so that's a nice change of pace here after we took them on in the FA Cup. So let's get into this one here and see if we can grab three points. And we'll get this one underway. Oh, that's going to be picked off. Poor pass here from Pereira as they jump in front of it. Atabola can't get in front of it, and Pereira makes the big save, and it ricochets off his face and goes out to Joel Richardson, who knocks it out for a throw-in. Oh, into the box here. They get around us. We fall down, and now Atabola out of position, and a strong shot by Jesus goes in. And it's 1-0, and just, just frustrating. I mean, you try and make a pass, but of course, because it's... Wet the ball, slows down, and oh my god, Adebolo made to look an absolute fool. And Jesus takes advantage, it's 1-0. Back to Henry, goes up to Richardson. He's going to try and make something happen, gets a player to fall down on a slide tackle, goes wide to Romano. He can't break anything down, has Fuentes. Fuentes now, driving in, takes the shot, and puts it right on Ederson. Dubois, up to Decker. Centers it here for Henry. Henry now lays it in for Fuentes. Gets on it and beats the keeper. And Fuentes answers right back with a goal of our own. And he puts it in. 1-1. One, one. Right off Ederson's chest. Takes a lucky bounce and finds the net. A really good play, though, for Fuentes to fight off that defender and really get in a good position. Screens him off nicely. You, you see it in the background there. He screens off his player. Henry lays it right into him. Far enough away so Fuentes can break away, get on the ball, and has a chance to put it in, and then beats Ederson right off the arm into the back of the net. 1-1. One, one. Anabola goes to Henry, cuts inside, finds Richardson. Oh, has Fuentes on a run. He gets behind. He's going to drive in, pulls the trigger in right on Ederson, though. Had a chance maybe to get it to Baker, but the defender placed well. Couldn't quite get it to him. And Decker pulls up on his run, goes right into Anderson, and out for a corner. And it will be a chance here. Decker, the one to take it, sends it in. Has a ball in and knocked away. It gets chased down by Romano. Tries to center it to Henry, who pulls it quickly, but goes right to Ederson again. Laid off to Richardson. Richardson cuts inside nicely, drives past his man. Has a chance, goes wide to Romano. He runs onto the ball nicely, has a chance here in the middle. Lays it there, and oh, just broken up before we can get on. It goes for a corner. Corner at the end of the half here. We have a chance to do something. Decker sends it high. We'll look for Adabola, who puts it right off and knocked off the line. Adabola makes the interception. Goes to Richardson, who gets it to Fuentes. He's going to drive up here. A chance here for Brentford. Pulls up, goes to Richardson, and can't get it there. And it's cleared away. Pressure on here at the end of the half for Brentford. And Man City survive. We go in 1-1. Richardson right up to Fuentes to start the second half. Goes to Baker now. Holds up, tries to find a pass. Has Richardson behind, and oh, a hand to it is Ederson. And cleared off the line before it goes out for a corner by Man City. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go with it. Oh, Sané gets behind Mitchell. He races back. Can he cut him off? Oh, a big breakup by Mitchell and just chucks that one up the field. Henry has the ball, has Decker on a long streak, finds him. He holds up and now finds it to the middle here for Baker. Baker lays it there for Fuentes, gets on the ball and can't beat Ederson. Adebola goes wide to Mitchell. He'll run onto the ball, carries it up, has a chance, gets it back, has a ball into Romano now. Romano holds up, looking for Decker, back post, on it, in the back of the net, and it's 2-1. Decker finally finding it after being quiet for some time now, just gets unmarked, and the two wingers pick each other out. Romano, the one to deliver it in, like the pizza from Domino's. Puts it right on the foot for Decker and right over the head of Ederson. Nothing he can do. And Brentford in the driver's seat, 2-1. to one. Decker driving up, has a chance here. Richardson runs onto the ball, pushing forward, goes to Fuentes, who drops it down into Romano now. Romano 
Looking for another cross. No, he'll center it. Has Fuentes, who takes a shot, gets deflected and cleared away all the way out for a throw in. So we'll make another change. It's Fuentes out for Kasim. Goes long. Mitchell races down. Breaks it up. Oh. Oh, they're into the edge of the box. And a big breakup. We can't win the ball. And it's going to go right in front for Jesus. Oh, and it's another one that we just let up. And, I mean, we just did so well to, to really try and break that up. But he just fights through the traffic and gets in there and lays it perfectly. No one... Mark and the dangerous striker man, Adebola, just got caught in no man's land between going for the ball and Mark and the man in the middle. And Pereira can't make the save. It's 2-2. So we make our final change. It's Richardson out for Atchampong. Kasim breaks it up, tries to get a pass up the field, gets it to Atchampong, who moves it to Vogel. Vogel is going to push forward, has a chance, lays it to Ajampong, who oh, just can't get the shot off. Adebola has the ball, tries to go to Kasim, he turns it over, and it's going to be one last rush here. Adebola gets in, slows him up, Sané, shot, goal, you knew it was coming, you knew it was coming. As soon as we turned it over, 3-2, and of course Man City is going to get a victory, 3-2, and they just tear us apart, just... Just can't, just can't beat him. Just can't beat him this year. We don't have enough. We'll get the ball rolling. Ajampong boots it in. Gives it right to Ederson. Makes the save. And I just, just don't know what to do. I just don't even, I mean, don't know where we can improve. Don't know what we can do. You get 11 shots, 8 on target. and I mean, you just pick them apart, but the goalkeeper at the back holds them tight. Decker gets a 9.2, Atchampong 6.1, Baker 7.3, Henry 8.1, Fuentes 8.2, Richardson a 6.8, Pereira 7.0, Mitchell 8.1, Adabola 8.0, Dubois 6.7, and Peba 7.3, Romano 8.7, Kasim a 6.1, Vogel 7.0, and that does it as we go down 3-2. Well, that does it for us here in this one, and unfortunately, the form is just not here in the month of January, and we fall down to 11th position, probably out of European competition at this point, unless we go on a real good run. I mean, it's not a ton of points far away, you know, we're only six points out of being in there, but I mean, the, just the way the defense is playing, 36 goals allowed. I mean, we are just an absolute sieve at the back, and I just don't I don't know what to do. I mean, there's really not many players we can bring in from the rejects. There's not many youth players that are coming through that are going to make a difference. And I mean, I just don't know what else we can do other than sit back. But I mean, we're already as back as far as we can go. We'll have to just keep fighting on. We're in 11th position. Somehow Morecambe are still behind us in 14th. So that's absolutely beautiful. That's kind of the goal is to have the rejects do better than them. But you, you would think Morecambe FC should actually be doing better. I mean, eight losses and eight draws. I mean, they have far and away the best team, but I don't know. We still have a little time to try and maybe bring in a couple different ma difference makers from the transfer window. We'll see what we can do. But that does it for us here on this one. If you guys did enjoy it and you are enjoying the series, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you can always find out when the newest episodes are coming out. And until next time, have a good one.